Barrier islands cover about one-sixth of the world's coastline. They're home to an incredible amount of beauty and life. But they're fragile landforms. They shift and transform amazingly fast. They're often dotted with the remnants of houses and ships that have been washed away by the ocean. In the satellite images of this island, we noticed a shipwreck stuck right on the beach. So we set out on a mission to find it and filmed all the footage in this video. The island was breathtaking. We were the only people around for miles. But there were creatures everywhere. Dolphins appeared in the lagoon. We dropped everything to watch them. A mother taught her calf to hunt. We had found a magical place. And we played like kids in the waves and sand. There's so much to see, we nearly forgot the shipwreck we came to find. And we found it not on the beach, like the satellite images showed. It was underwater. A quarter mile offshore. How could that be? The ship was at the right coordinates. It hadn't moved. The island had. It was disorienting. How could a six-mile island move so far in a few years? On the drive home, I was already planning my next trip. I spent the next four weekends kayaking to barrier islands, learning about the forces that shape and move entire islands. Here's how it works. Waves come ashore in one direction based on prevailing wind but they wash out in a different direction based on gravity and the shortest path. This tug of war creates a net force this way, moving sand up the beach. With time, the entire island moves up or down. But islands can also move towards shore. During storms, water washes over the island, bringing sand to the back. With time, more storms, and more sand, the entire island moves landward. All this means that man-made structures don't last long. This island once held 27 houses. They've all been washed away with only a few scattered remnants. This lighthouse was abandoned by the Coast Guard. I can see why. Getting here took bushwhacking, carrying the kayak over the shallows, and navigating a claustrophobic creek. But it's one of the tallest lighthouses in the world, and the views were worth the tough trip. Speaking of getting here, I should warn my fellow kayakers, visiting barrier islands is not easy or safe. These are remote, wild places with dangerous, unpredictable conditions. 
No one is around for miles. You won't have cell service. Nautical charts will be wrong. And channels and boundaries won't be where they're marked. Don't attempt this unless you have excellent equipment and fitness. If you go, stay on the outer edges. Never cross the dunes and respect nature. A few irresponsible visitors could destroy this place. After four weekends in this incredible place, leaving these islands was hard. It was a relief to step back onto the mainland and it was good to get home. But I can't help looking back at the adventure and I can't stop thinking about the miles of private beaches. Virginia's barrier islands are truly unique. They can be exhilarating, fun, haunting, and magical. Wherever you are, I hope this video inspired you to get outside and explore because the world around us is strange and beautiful.